Alright, I'm Josh with Blue Skies Drones. Uh, this here is one of our rental units that we have. Uh, on it is a zoom camera and a laser methane sensor. Uh, this is the M350. Uh, it's one of our main workhorses for uh, rentals and stuff. Uh, it's a DJI drone. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what else to say for that, but. Uh, Next one we have the Avada. This is a FPV drone. Uh, first person view. Uh, it is six hundred dollars for the kit. It comes with goggles, controller, batteries, and the drone itself. So it's tons of fun. Uh, next we have the Anzu Robotics Raptor. Uh, it looks like a green Mavic Three. Uh, it basically is that. Except it's made in Malaysia under the company Anzu Robotics. Uh, they run software aloft on it. Uh, and then onto a Mavic 3 here. This is the DJI Mavic 3 multi spectral. So, multi spectral camera is on it as the payload for the front. Uh, multi spectral uh, analysis is usually in well, different uh, wavelengths of light. So, seeing uh, the infrared to ultraviolet wavelengths, usually this is for crop inspections and things like that. Uh, we're on to the next one here. So, we have Soten, which is from the company ACSL. Uh, their booth is right there. Uh, this is their main drone that they're released. Uh, it has a attachable payload that detaches. So you can have different types. This is a bit optical uh, camera versus a thermal or a uh, multispectral. This is their uh, smart controller. So smart controller means it's got all your uh, pick images and video done with on the screen versus using a tablet or something as extra. This is the Flybotics uh, ACIO X. Uh, this is one we recently got into. It's meant for indoor inspections. So indoor inspections like referring to non-outdoors. So this could be in pipes, it could be in uh, smokestacks, things like that. that uh, wouldn't necessarily put a person into, but you could use a drone to do the same thing. Uh, it's got surround That's LiDAR, good. so it helps with obstacle do, uh, avoidance. Do usually, it's uh, got for, for like uh, LEDs on the front to help illuminate what your optical uh, camera will take pictures or videos of. Uh, it's got a cage to help keep the propeller safe from hitting other things or having things hit the propellers. This is the Cirrus. Uh, it's from the company Teledyne Flare. Uh, it is a U.S. blue, or it's considered a U.S. blue drone. So, being a blue drone means we will probably sell this or rent this to uh, public safety stuff, uh, public works and stuff. Uh, in the United States, they require that certain uh, levels of companies that work for the government have to be blue. So that means it's either made here in the United States or associated with that. And it can't be Chinese made parts in the drone. Uh, over here, on the floor down here is the dog. This is uh, Unitree's go to. Uh, it's a ground robot. Uh, this one is their smallest unit. Uh, it doesn't have very much application with the smallest unit, but the unit above this uh, has applications for going into locations that are hazardous to humans. So, gases, to fire, to uh, chemical uh, products that you wouldn't want to send a person into. Or in this other cases where uh, police might send this in to get shot, rather than having a human go into a building to get shot. Things like that. This is 
the Autel Evo Max. It's got a thermal camera on it with optical. Uh, this is uh, Autel's, one of Autel's primary products. Uh, it is very similar in flying capabilities to that of the Mavic from DJI. Uh, it's got different payload options, so you can have a multispectral, uh, a zoom, uh, zoom camera, uh, it's got a uh, on top payload, so you could put a, another payload on the top of the drone. Uh, interchangeable batteries, and on to the next one, we have QIC's V Evo, or Feefish V Evo. Uh, this is a ROV, so submersible drone. So this goes underwater. It's got a 4K camera, uh, 8,000 total lumens. Uh, it can withstand uh, five knots of water. So five knots current. And this right here is the dog's case. So it goes in a nice cheeky suitcase. Does that work for you? I've got a few options.